Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the cube root of 42,875. For finding the cube root of this number, we are going to use the prime factorization method. It is also called the division method. In this method, we divide this number by prime numbers and find the factors of this number. And after finding the factors, we find the cube root. As this is an odd number, let's try to divide it by number 3. It is not fully divisible by number 3. Let's divide it by next prime number 5. 5 times 8 is 40, 2 is remainder, this becomes 28, 5 times 5 is 25, 3 is remainder, this becomes 37, 5 times 7 is 35, 2 is remainder, this becomes 25, and 5 times 5 is 26. We can divide this number again by 5, 5 times 1 is 5, then 3 is remainder, this becomes 35, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 is remainder, this becomes 25 and 5 times 5 is 25. Again we can divide this number by number 5, 5 times 3 is 15, 2 is remainder, this becomes 21, 5 times 4 is 20, this becomes 15, 5 times 3 is 15. Now 343 is not divisible by number 5. Let's try dividing it by number 3. It's also not fully divisible by number 3. So let's take number 7 and divide it by number 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 6 is remainder. This becomes 63. And 7 times 9 is 63. 49 is again divisible by number 7. 7 times 7 is 49. And 7 is a prime number. It is only divisible by number 7. 7 times 1 is 7. Our number is fully divided. Let's write it in terms of its factors. So, 42,875 equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7 times 7. To find the cube root, we are going to take the cube root on both sides. Cube root of 42,875 equals cube root of 5 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7 times 7. Let's simplify this. Cube root of 42,875 equals cube root of 5 times 5 times 5 is cube 5 cube and 7 times 7 times 7 is 7 cube. And these numbers are cube and this cube root and cube gets cancelled. And both the numbers will come out of the cube root sign. So, cube root of 42,875 will be 5 times 7. 5 times 7 equals 35. Cube root of 42,875 is 30. This is how we can find the cube root of any number using prime factorization. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.